Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install IntelliJ IDEA on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, okay? So in order to install this IntelliJ IDEA, first of all we have to install Java JDK on our Ubuntu 18.04 LTS system, okay? So I already have Java JDK installed on my Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. If you don't have Java JDK installed, there is a video link in the description of this video. You can go there and learn it. In that video, I taught you how to install Java JDK 12 on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, okay? And after installing Java JDK, you can come to this tutorial, okay? So in order to install this IntelliJ IDEA, first of all, we have to download the setup file of this, okay? So for this, we have to go to their website. So just open your web browser. I'm opening Firefox, okay? And after that, you have to open this website, google.com okay and here we have this google.com website opened okay so just do a search for IntelliJ IDEA okay and here we have the first link IntelliJ IDEA the Java IDE for professional developers by uh, JetBrains okay so here we have this link uh, from JetBrains.com click on this link okay and here we have the website of a uh, JetBrains, you know, opened, and here we have this link, IntelliJ IDEA, okay, and here we have the download this button. Click on this download button, and here we have this download IntelliJ IDEA, okay. So it is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, okay. So we are on Linux, so you can see it's already selected, and you can see, guys, here we have two editions of IntelliJ IDEA ultimate edition and community edition ultimate edition is not free you have to pay for this and community edition is free and open source you can see for jvm and android development so in this tutorial we are going to install this community edition so just click on this download this button and here we have this message thank you for downloading intellij idea and here we have this window uh, this is our file okay so just click on this save file and then click on this ok button and you can see guys uh, here we have this file downloading so we need to wait for this and you can see guys here we have this file downloaded so just click on this open containing folder this link okay so here we have this file of intellij idea okay so it's in tar format so we have to untar this so just click on this to select it right click on that and then uh, click on this extract here okay so it's extracting so we need to wait and you can see guys it's now extracted okay so here we have this you know a folder so you need to open this by double clicking on it Again, you need to open this folder by double clicking on it, okay? And here we have various folders. So you have to open this bin folder. So just double click on this to open this. Okay, and here we have, you know, various, you know, files in this, okay? So we have to run this IDA.sh, this file, okay? So first of all, we have to open the terminal in this bin folder. So you have to right click in this empty space in this bin folder. So let me right click over here and then click on this open in terminal. Okay. So here we have this terminal opened in this, you know, bin folder. So if I type ls command and hit enter key on the keyboard, you can see that here we have various files. Okay. So we need to run this idea.sh file. So you have to type this dot forward slash idea dot as such and after that hit enter key on the keyboard and you can see guys here we have this uh, little window uh, because I don't have any uh, previous installation of IntelliJ IDEA okay so I don't have anything to import so I need to click on this do not import settings and then click on this ok button you can see here we have this IntelliJ IDEA community edition it's opening so here we have this uh, set user interface theme so here we have two themes darkula the dark theme and here we have the light theme 
you can select any themes you know by you know clicking on it i'm selecting this light one so i need to click on this light okay you can see it's now selected and after that click on this next uh, desktop entry okay and here we have this window opened create a desktop entry create a desktop entry for integration uh, with system application menu okay uh, for all users requires super user privileges okay so i'm clicking on this for all users also and after that click on this next launcher script okay i'm leaving this as default after that click on this next default plugins okay I'm not installing any plugins right now. So let me click on this next featured plugins. I'm also not installing any featured plugins right now. You can see we have some you know featured plugins, uh, but I will install it later. I'm not installing right now. And after that, click on it, start using IntelliJ IDE. Okay. And here we have the authentication required. So just provide your administrative password after that click on this authenticate button so it's opening so just wait for this you can see here we have this window welcome to intellij ide you can see it's now opened and here we have you know various links create new project import project okay so let's create one you know hello world project so let me click on this create a new project okay so here we have this new project this window opened okay so here we have this you know java you can see here we have this project sdk uh, i already have you know java jdk 12 installed on my ubuntu 18.04 lts system you can see it's showing over here okay and after that click on this next button uh, create project from template i'm not you know creating from template right now so i'm not selecting this click on this next button so project name so just provide your project name i'm providing hello world okay uh, here we have the project location okay so after that click on this finish button and just wait and here we have this intellij idea opening so you can see loading project okay so it's now loaded uh, let me expand this okay and here we have this uh, tip of the day uh, you can find you know various tips by clicking on this next tip button okay so i am clicking on this close button okay guys let me click on this project okay and here we have our hello world project that we created okay so let me expand this by clicking over here you can see we have various files and folders okay and here we have source folder so let's create one java class and print hello world so in order to create java class you have to click on this uh, source folder and then right click on this and then new and then click on this java class okay and here we have this new java class window opened so just provide name of your java class i am providing hello world okay and you can see that here we have the class already selected so after that hit enter key on the keyboard you can see that here we have this hello world dot java file created and this is our hello world class okay so in order to print hello world uh, we have to create uh, the uh, you know public static void main so let me type psvm and after that hit tab key on the keyboard and you can see guys here we have this main method created okay and in that uh, let me type s out and then hit tab key on the keyboard uh, system dot out dot print and you can see it's written automatically okay and in parenthesis and in quotes i need to provide the hello world string okay and you can see here we have this hello world so in order to run this uh, you have to right click on this file okay and here we have this run hello world dot main click on this you can see the progress over here two processes running so just wait 
and you can see guys here we have this output hello world okay and guys you can also run this you know uh, application this file by using another method so let me minimize this okay so here we have this little green this you know run button so if i click on this you can see over here the progress it's you know running so just wait and you can see guys here we have this output hello world okay so guys it's now done uh, let me close this intellij ide okay let me click on this uh, close button uh, click on this exit okay so it's now closed uh, let me close this terminal also uh, let me close this uh, bin folder also uh, let me minimize this browser okay let me minimize this file also okay guys so you can see that we don't have any IntelliJ IDE in this launcher okay so if you want to add that I'm gonna show you so just click on this show applications okay and here we have the search box just do a search for IntelliJ IDE okay and here we have the IntelliJ IDE right click on this and then click on this add to favorites okay you can see IntelliJ IDE community edition has been added to your favorites okay so just click on this activities and you can see guys it's now added and you can launch IntelliJ IDE by clicking on this okay so guys that's it in this way you can easily install intellij idea on ubuntu 18.04 lts so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye